why narcissists suddenly disappear. Narcissists often disappear. But when you think about it, they were never really there anyway. Because they were always hiding something from you. Whether it was information or their emotions. There was always something that they were withholding from you. They always lie. They always gaslight. Because that's how they stay two steps ahead of you. It gives them the advantage, which is why they disappear. It's why they ghost you. But that doesn't mean they're really gone. Because they're still watching you. They're stalking you on social media. They're very cunning and deceitful. They're behaving in a dishonest way by making you believe something that is not true. Because they want to mislead you. Which is why they will withhold information or their emotions. So that it makes it difficult for you to understand their true thoughts and feelings. Because they believe that showing your true thoughts and feelings is a weakness. Which is why they cannot be intimate or vulnerable. Because they believe that it makes them weak. But by withholding that from you, they think it gives them the upper hand. It's a power play. They withhold information and their emotions from you to gain control over you. Which is why they ghost you. Because by doing that they're not giving you anything. So it leaves you to figure things out on your own. And there are many different ways for you to interpret their lack of communication. So it's meant to mess with your mind. It's emotional abuse. Which is why they're watching you. So that they can observe the effects of what they're doing to you. It makes them feel powerful. It boosts their confidence. Because they're able to strip you of your power. And you are unknowingly giving your power away to them. Which is exactly what they want. It's why they do everything they do. So that they can gain control. And the only way that you can prevent them from gaining control is by detaching from them. By not being attached to the outcome. By not caring about what they think. By not playing their game. But this is why they ghost you. This is why they disappear. This is why they don't give you closure. And the only way you can get out of it is by not wanting answers. Because that puts you in a position of power. It puts you in control. Because they want you to seek answers. They want you to validate the illusion. Because it distracts them from the truth. They don't want anything to do with the truth. They want to bend reality so that they don't have to answer to anyone. And that is why they gas like you. Because if you knew the truth then you would be the one rejecting them. And rejection is their greatest fear. Which is why they always want to be on the other end of it. It's why they have to get you before you get them. Even if they could benefit by keeping you around. 
they will still reject you if they believe that you are about to reject them. Because rejection is one thing they cannot deal with, which is why they hide. It's why they can't tell you the truth. Because the truth makes them look bad. It's embarrassing. And it would make you want to leave them. So not only are they trying to gain power over you, but they're also trying to run from the shame they feel inside. Which is why they're in denial. It's why they blame shift and deflect. It's why everything they do is under the radar because there is something they don't want you to see which is why you never have a full picture of what is going on you're left in a state of confusion and it's only when the engagement is over that you finally realize the truth and the truth is that they're not really about anything that they said they're uninterested in connection they're uninterested in growth and development. They're running away from that. They don't want anything to do with it. Because for them to do that, they would have to look at themselves. And they don't like their reflection. They abandoned their true identity a long time ago and created a false self and they're only interested in people who validate the illusion but once you've spent enough time around them you realize that it's all a facade so it's like you're holding a mirror in front of them your mere presence triggers them to self-reflect and they don't like how that makes them feel but since they don't take the time to understand their own emotions, they see it as though something is wrong with you. Now they don't like you. They devalue you and degrade you. They want to get rid of you. When in actuality, they just want to get rid of this reflection of themselves because they don't want anything to do with who they really are. But they're never going to explain that to you. Because they don't even understand it themselves. They just know that they don't want you to see them in a negative way. Which is why they withhold information and their emotions from you. It's why you're always left searching for answers. Because if you knew what you were really dealing with. Then you would be able to make the corresponding choices and decisions. It will put you in control. Which is no good for them because they're weak. And they're afraid of what you would have inevitably do if you had that control. Which is why everything they do is designed to take control away from you. And by doing that. It makes them look powerful and confident but they're actually only doing that because they're very weak and afraid. Which is why the only thing they can do is disappear. And that is something they're always going to do, no matter who they're with. Even though they may be present physically, they're going to remove information and their emotions so that they can gain power so that they can feel like they're good enough because it makes them feel good about themselves it makes them feel like they're better than you when really they're cowards they lack the courage and confidence to be able to deal with the truth
thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.